Hello everybody, this is Leslie and today we are going to again be working in my altered journal. We are going to make a envelope out of a book page. So stay tuned and we'll get started. Alright, well welcome back. So I'm going to show you everything that I've worked on so far off camera just so that you guys kind of have an idea of what I'm doing here. So this is the first pages that we had worked on. I made a couple of tags. This is actually a bookmark. And then we have this page for journaling. This is completely done. This page also is for journaling. Then this page is a little pocket that I made and I made this envelope. This was a piece of junk mail. It was actually one of these envelopes. So I made it into where we can put, I could put a whole bunch of stuff in there that I need to put in there, but it is Alice in Wonderland themed. And then this is all collaged. So I have that in here, so that fits nicely. Again, this page is for journaling. This is the page hopefully we're gonna work on today. Again, I have an envelope that I made today. This has a pocket and I did some, of course, more Alice in Wonderland. But this envelope was a plain white envelope And what I did was I took two index cards. I should have put it that way, but needless to say, I put it that way. Just so that it would fit in here for, for journaling. And I put a little tab on it with a couple of jewels and gems on it. And then this was from a very, very old song book that I have and this was like the front cover that was pretty much disintegrated. So I put it on the back of here and I have that in here and that fits perfectly. And then again, like I said, I have collage. And then I have this showing through the um, the window, which I could probably put words or something on it, but I didn't bother to. But this is all from that book, except for a couple little pieces. So that page is done. This page we have to work on yet, but this is the page that I had watercolored. This was in my first video. And basically what I did was the picture that I had taken out of the Kew Gardens book or the, the flowers of, of Kew, K-E-W, I think it's Kew Gardens, but I'm not positive. What I did was I fussy cut it out a little bit better and I made it into a tuck spot. And then I added some wording that I found in some of my um, paper that I have. And then I made two journaling cards and I liked it with the black. So I have this one here 
And then I have this one here with the bird sticking up. So don't be afraid to watercolor your pages. It's a good background. This we gotta work on yet. Let's see here, we have, I worked on this. This was one of those three tier pockets that I had made that I had learned to do from um, Joey Defee. So I decorated the front. I put a little bit of lace and did a little bit of um, decoupage on it. And then I have a postcard that I stuck in here. And I put a picture of a Victorian lady. Then I have a tag in the second one. And I stapled these. I don't have a tiny attacher, but I just used a regular staple. And it seems to be working, so. And then I have this pretty tag. And I put the word create on it. So that is gonna be attached to that page once I get to that. Let's see what else we got here. Here is the envelope type that we're gonna work on today. This is a piece of book page. And what I did was I decorated, of course, the flaps and I stuck a little journaling card inside. And then that will be attached to a page so that it will flip open. Okay. So as of right now, I just have it in here. I could do it that or I can just actually just leave it in here, but um, is that it? Oh, no, here's one more. And then I did finish this, if I can get it out. This again is another envelope, a different type of envelope. This one actually is going to be attached again to the edge of a page so that it'll flip open. But this I did Paris themed. And then I have a quote from Coco Chanel, a girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. Added a couple of macarons. And then I added in a Jane Austen. This is actually from a book and it's called Dear Jane, Wise Counsel from Ms. Austen. And so I just use these, I have a couple of them, and I think they're cute for journaling cards. And it says, there are as many forms of love as there are moments in time. Letters from 1932. So I figured with the whole Paris theme, I thought love would be appropriate. And then I put some um, fabric down on the bottom here. So that's pretty much what I've done today. I did all that, except for those front two pages today. So let's start working on this. And as you can see, this is gonna be a chunky monkey. I can already see how big it's gonna be. So I may have to take more pages out, I'm not sure yet. Also too today, I was working with a file folder today and I had cut it down and I made it into a little booklet, which I want to include into the journal. Um, I don't have it secured or anything yet. It was, I wanted to try and staple it together, but needless to say that wasn't working. So I'm probably gonna have to sew it in. Um, so I think this might be one of the first things I do possibly with my, my, my new sewing machine because I have not used that yet and I really would like to start using that this week. All right, so we're gonna start with this. So basically all you're doing is you are folding up 
the page to where you want to have the amount of pocket and then you're going to fold it over for your flap okay you want to try and make it as even as possible which is always my problem okay so there now if you're going to insert it into say a flap like here okay then you're gonna have to of course decorate the whole entire thing both inside and out you don't have to decorate in here if you don't want to I usually do but you don't have to but if you wanted to put it say Is a good place okay so say if you wanted to put it here where it's going to open here just make sure that you cut it down enough so that when you flip it open it's not going to be in the way I actually want mine up higher okay and I like to give myself a little bit of room down at the bottom here so as you can see, there's a little bit of room here. I don't like mine being all the way at the bottom. So we're gonna work on this, and I think we're gonna make it where it goes just on the bottom of a page. So first off, we're gonna pick our papers. This one I wanna use, I think, some music. Some of this page. Looks like we're gonna have to collage. Now, if you're wondering if I have a theme for this book, no, not really. Basically, the I've just been trying to stay to a semi-straight color palette of blues and purples, but just like in anything. It changes <laughs> so but um, I'm trying to stay mostly in the blues it also depends on what I have because I'm trying to use the um, supplies that I currently have since I have so many of them okay so I think we're gonna start there thing too I've been doing is I've been trying to ink in blue I've been using more blues and blacks instead of the brown only because I don't want to really be using the browns as much but I have used them. Oop, I have my window open, so you are gonna hear the train going by. That's the train coming in from New York City with everybody coming home from work. Don't worry about these pieces. We're going to cut those off as we go along. The other thing, too, I've been trying to use is some of the washi tape that I have. I don't have a lot of washi tape anymore. Um, I really don't even know where it all went, to be quite honest with you. I used to have a lot. I don't know where it all went. Okay, so that is going to be 
gonna do is we're gonna ink up the top. Even though I think what we may do is, I think I may do this. To give it a little bit more stability. But we'll have to do that last. Okay. What do I have here? I have some music here. Now we're gonna be gluing these two sides, so we're gonna turn it into a pocket. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put, I think, this right there. So let's ink this up. Now I hope you've enjoyed the first couple parts of this series. I'm gonna try and make this one a little bit shorter, hence the reason why I worked on so much today because I was trying to figure out um, what I wanted to do and the time frame that it would take from take me to do it. Goes up there. I need you to go up here. So now we can glue this part down. So we're just doing the sides. I'm gonna fold it up. Okay, so now we have to work on this part and we have to work on this part. So in between, what I think, guys, what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna talk all the way through this. I'm gonna speed up bits and pieces of this just so that I can make a faster video for you guys. And please leave me a comment down below. If you don't mind the one hour videos, please let me know because if you actually do sit and watch the whole one hour, I will continue to make the one hour videos. Sometimes I don't have much choice because it does take me a while. I'm not a very fast crafter. The other thing too is I try, I'm really trying not to think too much. I'm just trying to lay down the stuff because the more you think, the longer it takes. <laughs> Does everybody always ink all of their sides on their 
pieces of paper that they, they cut or their tags. I don't always. I do like the way it looks. Oh, little baby's crying. It's that time of night. Does anybody else have problems with their punches where you can only use them for a very short period of time and then it's like they don't work anymore? I mean, I know that if you can't really use heavy cardstock because it just does not like that. Yesterday I sat and watched a whole bunch of documentaries on Amazon Prime, music documentaries. I just kept going. Whatever it showed that was next is pretty much what I watched. So I watched one on David Bowie. I watched one on Elton John. I ended up watching, um, ouch. Um, a concert that um, of course was Duran Duran at the end of the night. There was a lot of stuff about David Bowie that I did not really know. One thing I do know about David Bowie is his name was really David Jones. And he had to change his name because of Davy Jones from the Monkees. Because it was the same time era and um, they had to uh, distinguish between the two, so. All right, so the front part's done. So now we have to do this part here. This I wanna incorporate right here. Try to use up all these tiny little pieces here. Also, too, I did not know that David Bowie had a brother who was institutionalized. I think he had schizophrenia, I think they said. I did not know that. That was something I had learned I did not know. Yes, this is the heading paper from one of the papers. But I enjoy using these. I look at it this way, it's no different if you had a whole bunch of text on a page. Basically, that's what it is, it's text on a page. further only because I want to put this at least we're gonna to try to put that on there let's see here let's put this here use up these little scraps so I'm still waiting on my test but I really don't think I'm positive only because I feel fine the girl in work who actually tested positive, 
she had texted me and my boss tonight and said she's now lost the sense, sense of smell. She was trying to, I guess, smell all these different really strong scents and she just wasn't able to. Supposedly, from what I've heard, is if you lose your taste of your sense of smell, usually you can't taste either because they're connected. So she didn't say anything about that. And now she had symptoms that started on Saturday. And today's Thursday, so that's almost a week in. And she's only getting to the point where she's just basically losing her sense of smell. sudden smell anything. cheeseburger <laughs> this was from a, a kid's book and I cut out a bunch of stuff which I thought was really really cute like chateau how cheerful let's put cheerful yeah we'll do that let's try that That's a loud one. The actual train stop is actually the next town over, so it's not far. That's why it's when it goes past our house, um, it's uh, slow because the, the stop is not that far from where we live. It's literally not even five minutes down the road. 
way. I can cut this away though. Now we just have to do here. Get out of the train way. like the movie Stand By Me where the kids are actually walking along the um, train tracks. Who else remembers that movie? I, oh, I know what I had watched last night. I've never read H.P. Lovecraft, but I knew the man was strange to begin with but the documentary that I watched the first one was on him wow was he strange holy cow his father had been institutionalized and passed away in the institution his mother was kind of nuts um, or she got, she went nuts. He was from Providence, Rhode Island. And his mother used to call him all kinds of names, like ugly and hideous and all this stuff, which caused him to be, you know, think of himself in, in that way. You know, he just wasn't loved as a child from the way I kind of understood it. And um, so because of his upbringing, he was, uh, they lived, I think, in the grandfather's house. And um, the grandfather had passed away and what he used to do as, as a boy, back then, you weren't, it wasn't mandatory for you to go to school. So he was never really properly trained or schooled. And the grandfather, I think was, did he own, he had his own business from what I understood. I want to say it was manufacturing and so they were somewhat wealthy but he had a huge library I guess up on the upper floors so that's where he would go to read so he found out that he loved to read and he ended up like reading a lot of this mythological stuff and just, you know, a whole bunch of weird stuff at that time. Let's put it that way. It's not weird today, but from that time frame, yes, it was weird. And so I guess that's where he just found comfort in writing about mysterious stuff and creating these mythological creatures and god godlike creatures and all this stuff it was just really freaky and the people who actually were on it one of them was um del toro and then the other one was um john carpenter if anybody's familiar with John Carpenter's Halloween and also 
the fog that John Carpenter but they I guess had always um, enjoyed reading his stuff but wow he actually got married to a woman and she had to ask him to marry him he was in his 30s I think and he never worked he basically the only thing he did was write stories for these oh, I can't remember what they're called but they're they're like um, well, I'll say like comic books but they're not really comic books um, those creepy type sci-fi books so he would sell his writings to them now this was back in anywhere from the 20s into the 30s because he died in 1937 so he died early um, was just strange but a lot of the guys were saying that you really had to understand the way he wrote to understand his writing because I guess it he, not that he had his own language but just the way that he explained stuff because I guess because he wasn't very well schooled But yeah, that that was on Prime. So if you're interested, it's on Prime. But yeah, that uh, was kind of strange. But I had always been curious because I didn't really know much about the guy. But the wife, I guess, had taken him out of uh, Providence, Rhode Island, and he started to go nuts. She brought him to New York because she was and he just couldn't handle it. So I know she ended up losing her job. She ended up having to move to Ohio and he wouldn't go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really strange. So if you're into a lot of that stuff, I would check that out because that was definitely interesting, I have to say. That was definitely interesting. And I'm not sure if anybody has heard of that Cthulhu. Well, that's him. And all those gods and all that stuff that he wrote about. Okay, so we have our envelope. Oh, please don't st glue together. Okay, there we go. So we have our little envelope. Now, if you wanted to actually put like a little clasp on it, or even if you wanted to put um, magnets, you could certainly do that. I'm not doing that. You can even use, I have one of these. You could even use like one of these. just to weight it down. I'm not gonna do that only because this is gonna give bulk and I already have enough bulk. <laughs> so I'm not gonna add any more bulk. What I will do though is I have a bunch of these and I kinda like adding I'll add you right there. Here comes the train again. You can tell it's prime time. All right, so I have a couple of things that I have made here. So what can we fit in here? 
I think we can fit this in here. Yes, we can. But so since we're going to stick this on the bottom, I don't have to worry about doing this. What I am going to do is I am going to take, I think I'm going to use this. I have washi tapes that I don't think I've ever really used, so that's the reason why I'm trying to like use them. And I'm like making little tabs and stuff out of them. It might always come out crooked. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to see if I can get this on here. I don't know if I can, but we're gonna try. If not, I could put it down on the bottom, but maybe not. And that's going to be glued down anyway so so this is what it would look like this added to me that out of the way sorry guys I just totally hit the camera okay so let's say we're gonna put it here so we would glue it on there and then it would just flip up like that. And then you have your little card in here. So let's glue it down. What the heck? We're gonna use this page. We're gonna stop here guys only because I'm gonna have to attach this and I don't know if this is gonna fit my pedal. Because I, I just want the bottom to 
not worried about the top. I could actually do it this way. All right, so there we go. So we'll let that dry. And in the next video, we will finish up here. And I think what we're gonna do is maybe we'll work on, I need to work back further. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll try and work on these pages. Yeah, I think we'll work on these pages. So I hope you're enjoying my little tutorial that I'm doing here. I also decided that I'm going to be um, painting the cover and then putting decoupage and stuff on the cover, but I'm gonna use gesso and stuff like that on this. I'm gonna cover the whole entire book, I think, or I may use fabric on it, I'm not sure yet. And then I could see I'm definitely gonna use a, one of those little Tim Holtz things and I have Sari silk that I'm gonna use to tie the book closed. So, hope you enjoyed this, and again, I will see you on the next video, and please don't forget, if you can, make sure you give me a like if you enjoyed what you uh, saw me work on today, and leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.